My business is Future Learning Center, uh, based in Kampala, Uganda. And uh, we deal in empowerment programs that mainly basically deal with two areas, publication and books, and also training for schools, institutions, and individuals. Ours is an empowerment one-stop center. We deal uh, with in different products, and some of the products we have is that we have books, for example. This one is a student reading guide, which is used in secondary and uh, university. And then we also offer short trainings, and these are some of our certificates uh, from the different workshops that we have conducted in this country. I think the Grow Movement Scheme has really been helpful. So with my Grow Business Consultant, uh, uh, I discussed with him, and he, we noted that I needed to first work on improving the operation of my business for thinking of expanding. And uh, we came up with two ideas. One, we decided that uh, maybe it would be better to develop an in-house in training center than always using hiring and all the other places that we've been going to, to reduce on the cost and also improve the operations. We also agreed um, with that, uh, my group consultant, that is Philippine France, that uh, uh, when we have looked at that one, improved on the in-house training, then I can think of using, expanding to other areas. So my new business plan now has changed and that has been accommodated and I'm looking for an in-house training center to start with that. I've also, through my group consultant in India, he was helpful in helping me establish an agent in India who is going to help me reduce on the cost of printing, and especially the printing of books and other resource materials that we use because it's cheaper to print in India. So we have identified from an agent and we have started a working arrangement on how this to deal with that. So I see myself growing uh, in, in terms of uh, looking at my business, being more focused, organized, and I've seen my profits increase to nearly 50% since I joined the war. And out of this, I, I, I can attribute the third or what I would for out of my, my, my relationship with the growth consultant and mentors. On the scheme, and you've had the experience of dealing with a consultant in France and India. So, from your point of view, did the um, sort of significant cultural differences have an impact on, on the scheme for you? And also, was the fact that they weren't actually in Uganda did that, did that make a difference? Yeah, there's always a difference in, uh, in terms of so I say the accent. From Uganda, for example, is a developing country, and maybe you have a consultant in a developed country. The way they do business in France may not be the way business is done in Uganda. There are different challenges, but uh, we that has been harmonized through the discussions that we have.